Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're going to have a look at a VBA tip on how to trap the double click event. If you want to follow along with the tip, go to ExcelExperts.com and under search this site, just type double click, you'll find VBA tip number 23 and you can read more about it and download the code and the example file. Also have access to lots of other free training videos. So what do I mean by this? Well, suppose I double click on this cell. It changed from red to green. If I double click again, changes to blue. Double click again, changes to red. So I've created a macro that cycles through red, green, blue. To start it, you press this. To stop it, you press this. So if I stop it and double click, it'll do the normal behavior which is going into the cell. If I start it and double click, it will cycle through the values. So let's have a look at the code. Press Alt F11. And here's our code. So we've got a start double click um, subroutine here. And it, all it says is application on double click that. So what this means is when you double click within this Excel application, not just the work book or worksheet, run this my double click macro. To stop the double click macro running, all you need to do is enter double inverted quotes to the on double click um, method. My double click macro says if selection dot address is C7, so I've, I'm double clicking on C7, which is this in our example. Uh, and you can add extra code to make sure it's on the right workbook or the right worksheet, but I've just made this simple um, for this sheet. Select case. Case says if there are a number of different values for a cell, then have a look at each of them and under certain events do different things. So in the case that the cell, the active cell is red, then change it to green. If it's green, change it to blue. In case else means in any other cases, change it to red. The advantage of that is if we accidentally type yellow and we still want our double click macro to work, it will start off again at red. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com. Thanks for listening.